What's up guys, it's Taylor again. I'm really excited to do this activity with you. This is gonna be an experiment using light. So what you'll need for this activity is a normal piece of paper. The only important thing is that it, it's a piece of paper. Then you'll need some markers or crayons, but I want you to be careful because whatever you draw on this side, I don't want you to be able to see it from that side, okay? So, once you've gotten those two things, the last thing you'll need, of course, is light. So, I have with me a little flashlight, but you can use a lamp or a light bulb or whatever you've got around the house that lights up. Okay, so, what we're gonna do first, once you've gotten your piece of paper and your writing utensils, is that we're gonna put things on our piece of paper that might be in our heads or in our hearts. So, there could be a few things. I'm gonna draw a a few things like, first I'll draw an idea. I feel like God put in my heart and I'm really excited about. So to represent this idea, I'm gonna draw a light bulb. Baby. And then next I'm gonna draw maybe an emoji to explain how I feel sometimes. So. What do you think about my emoji? Looks a little worried. Yeah, sometimes I can feel a little worried. And then lastly, something that's in my heart, definitely my family. So I'm just gonna draw my family. Do you like my mom's curly hair? She has very curly hair. Okay, so now that you've gotten your drawing on your piece of paper, the last thing there is to do is I want you guys to turn it over so that nobody can see what you drew. And I want you to think about this. Even if something is in your head or in your heart and you've never said it out loud to anyone, does anybody know what could be in there? Well, get your light and shine just on this side. Do you see the idea that I drew? How about the emoji? How about my super cute little family that I drew? Guys, this reminds me of how God sees everything and nothing is hidden from him. He is all knowing. There's a really cool word that I'm gonna teach you that means all knowing and it's a way we describe one of the characteristics of God and that is omniscient. So say it with me, omniscient. I like to say it like it's a secret because it helps me remember that God knows everything and nothing is hidden from him. So. Whatever is in your heart, whatever is on your head, whether it's an idea, maybe it's an emotion, or someone that you're really thinking about, I want you guys to remember with this experiment that God sees it all and he knows it all and he loves you very much. It reminds me of that verse in Psalm 147, verse five. And that says, how great is our Lord. His power is absolute. His understanding is beyond comprehension. That means we can't even fathom all the things that God knows. So God is omniscient and we're thinking about you so much. So if you guys wanna do this experiment, it's super easy. Just get your supplies, draw your art and use that light bulb. And I would love to see how it turns out. You can post about it on YouTube, on Facebook or Instagram. You can tag us, that way we can see what you came up with, okay? All right, see you next time. <laughs>finds a coordinate to another clue today. I mean, it's been a week and nothing. I know, I mean, we have to find something. Dr. No Fun is out there. And if we don't buy those codes, then... Guys, guys, we will find it. I know we will. The code is out there. <sighs> it seems your transitionary particle interceptors have been calibrated to maximize the ultimate levels of the subharmonic oscillation. He does seem to be firing on all cylinders. Shall I go ahead and begin the transportation process? Yes, Quest. 
We are sending the global satellite dissemination in three, two, one. Look at that, you can see for miles. Quest T says to be on the lookout for fossilized footprints, which have been in the volcanic rock. You know some of these fossils have been preserved for 3.6 million years? So Australopithecus and Aphorensis were found in this area as well. Okay, all right, well, let's focus on the task at hand. Uh, but seriously, how do you know so much? Look, I think it's there. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. It's on that fossil over there. Okay, Chad, quick, test the metrical structure. I think that's where the clue is. My friend Isaiah is here with me today, and we're going to try a little experiment. You see, I brought along these little shoes. Um, at least that's maybe kind of what they look like. I don't know if that's a perfect description, Isaiah. But I'm going to have you help me with something. What I'm going to do is lay these little cards one at a time down on the table. Now, anytime Isaiah wants me to stop, all you have to do, Isaiah, is say stop. So simple enough, we'll start laying them down. And then anytime you want, Isaiah, you simply say stop, and I will stop anywhere you want me to go. Stop. Right there. So Isaiah stopped right there. What we're going to do is look at where he stopped us. You see, Isaiah, you stopped me on, here, hold on to that. In fact, turn them around and let them see. Isaiah stopped me on a blue shoe. Now here's what's really interesting. You see, Isaiah said stop, and that's the card that was right there next. Now, he could have waited one more moment and he would have stopped me on a green shoe. He could have stopped me a little bit earlier on a yellow shoe, or maybe he could have stopped me on a red shoe. But Isaiah, he stopped on the blue shoe. Now here's what's really interesting. You see, before we began, Isaiah, I placed this envelope right here on the table. And inside the envelope, I made a little prediction. You see, I had an idea that you might stop me on the blue shoe. Now that's kind of interesting that I could know where you were going to stop me, but really it's just a trick, just an illusion. But there is something that you can know for sure, and that is that I don't know everything, but Jesus does know everything. In fact, he knows everything about today and everything about tomorrow. He knows everything about you and about your future. And because of that, Isaiah, the great news is we can know that we can trust him in every single situation. See, people like me, we might at times act like we know everything, but we don't. But Jesus does know everything. And Isaiah, thanks for helping us share that today. Well, guys, it's been confirmed. The code word is no. <laughs> of course it is. I told you not to worry. I knew we'd find something. Okay, I cannot take it anymore. Hans, when did you know everything about everything? I mean, can I help it? I've been mentally and intellectually blessed. Oh, really? Really? Okay. All right, then, uh, what's my grandmother's middle name? Brittany? No. Matilda? Nope. Gertrude? Yes. Turner. No! Okay, see, Come it's on. a trick question. A know. trick question? Yes. I give you three tries. guys thank you so much for tuning in i love having you here and can you guys remember that word we learned god knows what it is because he knows everything that's what the word means the word is omniscient so say it with me and say it like a secret omniscient. that really helps me remember that god knows everything there's no secret that he doesn't already know about and there's nothing he doesn't know about you and he loves us so fully so god is omniscient and we're so excited to see you guys next time Okay, I'm practicing because we have a challenge for you. That's right, Kids Life is hosting a trick shot challenge and you have been nominated. So I want you to send us videos of every single trick shot you can imagine. Whether it's big or small or crazy or wacky, we wanna see it. So tag us on YouTube, on Instagram, and on Facebook, whatever you can come up with. And we're excited to see the crazy trick shots that you can do.